it's a day where we can all come together without sort of the mundane things and, and be recognised. So not just in a professional capacity or historic, but the day-to-day -day roles that women have at home, families, workplace. So it's a celebration of all women in all walks of life. I think it's also celebrating the achievements as well. Absolutely. Actually, historically to get to the point that kind of we are now um, and to see that development and it's still developing, you know, still ongoing. So I think having that day to kind of promote that ongoing development is really important. It sort of highlights like the community that we have sort of here at CAPT and also in the wider community as well outside of CAPT. Like you get to meet different people from different walks of life and I think this really highlights it, especially within, within different cultures, within women and stuff like that. Just like learning from each other as well, definitely. I think it's again it's a bit, a bit like recognising that those achievements and then building that it kind of going more to an equality sense. Equity is very hard to go between equality and equity. It's real equality. We always talk about equality, but we shouldn't be talking so much about equality. Sometimes I'm more about equity. So I think the fact that it's embraced in equity, that's the right thing to have. Because yeah, as we were saying, it's not about yeah, just treating everyone the same, but if different, if different people have different privileges, you need to treat them accordingly to the privilege so they, they have a quality of opportunities. And I feel like with equity specifically, it's about what we can do, especially as white women as well, opening doors to those that don't have those doors open, to level, level them up, level the playing field, to give those people opportunities as well. Like I feel like we also have a job to do, it's not just like, oh yeah, we're here or we're, we can get this stuff up. How can we bring other people up to like that level and then how can we push through that ceiling and go even further? Mm -hmm. uh, and about looking at, at what changes we may have to make to make that possible. Yeah, exactly. So that people are given the right opportunity. And so we can make sure that yeah, women have a blazing cat, are respected as much as men, uh, yeah, can yeah can progress into higher roles, can can feel safe about work, yeah. and different things like that. And I think it's sort of like a good starting point to set out and show people that actually this can be done. We can change yeah. the future of football. I mean, look at the past few years with the women's Euros and things like that. It's it's developing constantly and changing, and, and we need to have that voice and that commitment to each other to help develop and make it better, make the environment better for ourselves. I think it also equally develops men to understand the actual needs of, of, of what we're coming out with at these meetings. Um, I mean, on the back of those meetings, a piece on workplace culture that was brought up, on the back of the CPD day, it's men coming up to me saying, I really enjoyed that because I know I do X, Y, Z, and I didn't understand how that would be taken. So there's definitely uh, an education there yes. and, and having that wider understanding. And it's just communication. I mean, we've already started out with, with a couple. So a big one was addressed around maternity and the pay maternity. When the company was founded and created, they still had those policies in place. So it, when, when it began, it was very male dominated. So they never really thought about, well, should women be paid while they're on maternity leave. It just was automatically the statutory maternity pay. That's been changed because of the Women's Network. And that's become so positive, we've even backdated it to the couple of women that are on maternity and they're over the moon. Yeah. And equally, because that issue was raised, the paternity policy is being looked at as well. well. It's so it has it it helped that, you know, that was a mm -hmm. archaic. Our, our so, you know, that's a positive result all around. Yeah. And, and we asked, for, you know, Women can bring whatever issues they like to that to say it's our meeting, and then from that, an agenda will be set. Um, yeah, any issues, guest speakers coming in. Mm. I yeah. think so. Like it's it's a good way just to have a community as well. Like mm. not necessarily to have like oh we're gonna go we're gonna fix this problem we're gonna fix it. Sometimes it's just like coming together and having a chat and like well oh, like this is what I find frustrating or like actually I'm enjoying doing this or things that you think look at outside of work you're like oh actually this is really good thing happening over here that you might be interested in and making those connections with people that you may not necessarily have on a day-to-day -day basis especially when like for example for me I work in a very small team and I can 
almost be very closed in and like not really look outside of my box sort of thing so it's quite nice to have that opportunity to speak to people that I wouldn't necessarily cross paths with on, on another day sort of thing.